Hey guys, today we're getting a new battery in my old Prius. So I've been having issues with the car ever since I bought it where it'll you know work for two or three months and then the battery will go out and I'll take it out swap cells around and put it back in and then it'll work for a few months and then go bad again so I think just the whole battery is is old enough that swapping cells putting new cells in it isn't cutting it anymore so every time I uh, turn it on now I get all the warning lights oh sorry I don't know if you can so I'll plug in my code reader and show you those codes and then I also did right before the battery went out I knew it was about to throw the error um, and so I went out and I did a zero to 60 and a quarter mile test using torque uh, with the plugged in OBD2 reader and so that's not the most accurate way but I just wanted a general idea of how it was before the replacement and after the replacement so here are the results from the zero to 60 and the quarter mile obviously they're incredibly slow, but I just wanted to compare them before and after. I'm not obviously trying to set any records in this Prius. I bought the battery from Green Bean Batteries. Um, so it's a reconditioned battery. Uh, it's about 1500 bucks, but it has a lifetime warranty. That's the reason I went with them. There's another one um, called Hometown Hybrids, I believe, um, that operates out of Texas. And that's that was my second choice. It's $1,000, so it's cheaper. Um, but they have a two year, what is it, two year 20,000 or 25,000 mile warranty, um, which is good, but I just wanted the lifetime warranty so I never have to deal with this again. Next time the battery goes out, I just call them up and say, you know, hey, the battery's, the battery's bad, give me a new one again, and they'll come out to me for free and replace it. So that's the reason I went with Green Bean. They have some bad reviews some good reviews so I don't know I don't know what to think of it I don't have super high expectations for it but honestly I don't really care as long as I get you know a year out of each battery or something like that um, and then call them up and say hey time for a new one um, then I'm happy with that so um, so I just wanted to do some comparisons with the old battery versus new one so let's check out here um, I was getting about 40 miles per gallon average, yeah, 40.3 miles per gallon average before the replacement. Um, so after 150 miles of driving. And so I'm curious after they replace the battery, what that'll be. Ideally, it'll, it'll bump up to maybe 45. A brand new battery might be like 50 miles per gallon. Um, obviously there are so many factors between tire pressure, you know, driving in the city versus highway, blah, 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 that it's hard to say, you know, with a new battery, you'll get 50 miles per gallon exactly. But I just kind of wanted to, wanted to compare the baseline old battery versus new battery. So anyway, all that being said, um, here pretty soon, the guy's going to come and he'll swap out the battery for me. He'll take the old one, obviously. Um, and then I will let you know how the new battery behaves. We'll go for a drive, see the zero to 60 and quarter mile times, and we will uh, see what kind of gas mileage we can get, stuff like that. But I'll show you the, the battery is under the trunk here. Uh -huh. I've swapped it out three times now. So the trunk, you want this car to in the so so here's the back of the battery. Um, the fuse is right here. Yeah, so here's the fuse. So when this is disconnected, there is no electricity um, going through the car. This is the this is the fail safe. This is the thing that stops everything. So anyway, yeah, there's the back of the battery. It goes from here to the back seat. So when I pulled it, you know, obviously I took off all this body or this uh, trim work, the side panels, um, obviously took out the divider here, um, folded the seats flat and then removed those. There's two bolts on either side um, and then the battery's right there. And then you undo all these bolts, 
um, undo the the uh, fan shrouds and everything unplug everything on this side and then the battery comes out so I've never filmed that just because it's a it's a tedious process balancing all these cells um, but I'll show you what the cells look like so here's what one of the cells looks like this is the negative side the positive side um, and they're stacked in there like this and they're in series so one will be this way the next one will be this way the next one will be this way next one this way um, and so all the voltages add up to I think it's like a like 201 volts 202 volts something like that um, and each cell is like eight eight volts so these are seven cells there are 28 of them in the battery and they're in sets of two so there's there's 14 blocks each made up of two cells but anyway that's probably more more Prius knowledge than anyone ever wanted in their entire lives but yeah there's the battery um, if you want to see a video uh, removing it the one that I watched while I was doing it I'll put a put a link up here um, it's a fantastic video I don't remember the uh, the company that put it out but it's a, a guy that does this all the time all day long so he really knows what he's doing um, and he makes it super quick I've gotten to the point where I can get the battery out in under under 30 minutes when I'm not rushing even faster when I am and then put it in in a similar amount of time in probably 45 minutes all right it's the next day the battery has been installed um, ran out of daylight yesterday to do any filming um, but let's check out the new battery I took it for a drive to go get gas and it was getting like five miles per gallon better than it did before so here's the new battery looks exactly the same as the old battery but it has a green bean sticker on it <laughs> so anyway hopefully this will do the trick so far it looks good um, but I guess time will tell um, so yeah the uh, the efficiency is better the power seemed better um, but let's go take it for a drive and do a zero to 60 and a quarter mile just so we have something some actual numbers to compare it to before the battery replacement um, and in the meantime I'll track the fuel economy and let you know what the difference is to the spot where I'm going to do the acceleration test. Right now we're at 42.1 miles per gallon average, um, which is, I was getting about 40 on average before, so I would say it's similar. It's marginally better, but um, it's not a, it's not a, a huge difference. So um, I'll keep tracking that. I'll, I'll update you guys later on if it's significantly better or worse if there are any big changes but we're here at the spot where we're going to do the acceleration test so I will uh, show you my phone as we do that so I'm using the torque app for Android torque pro um, which is just an OBD2 based uh, system so it's not incredibly accurate but I just wanted to compare um, between the pre battery change and post battery change how big of a difference there was okay so now we stop these should say ready and now floor it Obviously not setting any records, but that is quite a bit faster than it was before. That's it's about a second faster zero to sixty and a second faster quarter mile, um, plus getting marginally better efficiency. So um, I'm really happy with that. The uh, I also have about a hundred pounds of uh, weight difference in the car now versus when I did the previous acceleration because I filled up with gas 
and I have several heavy items in the trunk right now, and so um, I would say I would say probably a hundred pounds more right now than it was before. So I don't know I don't know anything about like drag racing. I don't know how much a hundred pounds will affect a a car's zero to sixty time, but or quarter mile time or anything. But um, that's really cool to see that uh, a uh, you know more than a second improvement despite having more weight in the car so anyway i'll keep driving a little more and let you know how the fuel economy does and then i will update you as we go along um you know in the future how the how the battery holds up if um if it does well i'll do like maybe an update a year from now um and if it conks out and needs to be replaced sooner then i'll do a video on that too so just kind of uh, let you know what my experience is with these green bean rebuilt batteries. All right, I think I'm gonna call this battery replacement a success. I drove some on the highway, some through the city, um, and the fuel economy, as you can see, is 43.7, and it's going up. Um, the city city mileage is better than the highway mileage in this car, um, so that's really promising. I'm happy with that. That's I was struggling to get 40 miles per gallon babying the car uh, before the battery replacement and now afterwards that that almost 44 miles per gallon is including the 0 to 60 and quarter mile runs and highway driving so overall it's significantly better fuel economy it's better acceleration and that battery has a lifetime warranty so even if it goes out in six months I get a replacement for free so I'm really happy with Green Bean. I've heard good things and bad things about the company, um, but overall, I'm happy with my experience, so I recommend them, um, but I will update you as time goes on with what happens with the battery, so thanks for watching.